All right, now we're going to go ahead and try and drag this into another part. So I'm going to go in the fifth hole over. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to grab this guy first and see which one of these he snaps into. Oh, I think I wanted that first one. So that's going to be this to here. Looks good. We'll do the same thing to this side. So there's one, two, three, four, five over. I'm going to try with this first to see which one looks best. That's the one. It doesn't like to do that from here to there because that's already locked in place. So instead I'll grab here and move it over. There we go. And these can actually still move. So all we did is we made an insert constraint. So we have to zoom in closer. And I like to just kind of grab this and drag it out of the way a little. I think it's that one. We'll see what happens. It said no. It's kind of hard to tell what's the top and what's the bottom here. But once it starts moving, you know you got it. So let's try this one more time here. There we go. So that should be about right. And we're going to uh, start to put in some other things as well. So we need this motor. And this motor, I don't know why, but it's not the same size and shape as the ones that we are actually using. So it's a nice idea that we have a motor in here. We can kind of show where it goes, but it's going to look a little glitchy, and you're just going to need to be okay with that. All right. So go ahead and right click, choose constraint, and we're going to pick on this flat surface here. We want that surface to mate to the underside, the flat side of this vertical piece, and say apply. We're going to switch to a tangent constraint, rotate back around. I'm holding shift and the mouse wheel to rotate. And I can't see what I'm looking for in this direction. So I'm just going to hit cancel and drag that up. I'm going to take that little brass piece from both of these and make them tangent to this rail here, that little flat spot. So constrain, tangent, brass piece. Oop, not that part. First selection. I want the outside of that to be tangent to the outside of this. And the same thing here. That flat part needs to be touching this round part. Perfect. Okay. Motor is in place. We're going to take care of that first gear. And actually, before we do the gear, we have to put these guys in place. So, unfortunately, uh, even though this has the eye mates on it, the thing that I'm connecting to has that little metal bar in between, so I have to use the actual constraints. Right click, use constraint, click on the back side of that flat part. You're going to click on the front side of this flat piece. Say apply. Now that that's there, everything else goes way easier. So we can move this over. I want that circle to line up with this circle. So all I do is I right click somewhere and try not to right click on a part because sometimes that gets weird. Just right click somewhere though. Go to constrain. And if you hover over a curved surface, it should give you an axis, like a little line. And the same thing here. I want those two lines to be together. Click OK. And if I rotate this out of the way, I can right click, go back to constrain, find the axis on my other one and line these up. Now I'm almost ready. I'm going to take that shortest axle bar here and right click where I do a constraint. I want that flat part. This one's going to be the trickiest thing that we do. That flat part needs to be touching the inside of this. So if I get to looking right at it, there's a little flat spot right there that I want that to be touching against. Say apply. 
and then I'm going to zoom in close and get one of these flat spots, rotate just a little bit, I want that to be touching that inside wall there, and that other is going to be a pain. That other flat spot is going to be touching this little ball here. This is probably the hardest part. There's that flat spot. Okay, I know it's a little difficult to see what I'm doing, but hopefully you can figure it out. 